Welcome to a quick and dirty episode. For those who are new, quick and dirty is a category of videos where I spend comparably little effort on recording the build steps. This allows me to focus on the main innovative concepts and share them with you even during times when I have more ideas than time to make videos. The results may not be as accessible as my usual videos, but they are meant to give you inspiration. Today, I present the work in progress of a challenge that I gave to myself. To design a simple, practical and affordable multi-TC base for small groups with good online raid defensibility. To that end, I wanted it to meet the following requirements. Be able to use the core as a starter unit, because this allows to first gather resources without becoming a target early on. Further, the core should allow to land a minicopter on top of it. Both of this makes the base practical in a real wipe. The second requirement was using a dead simple multi-TC footprint, ideally avoiding wall stacking where possible. Going out with 8 squares and coming back with 4 half moons leaves you exposed, and the effort of it can make people shy away from building multi-TC bases in the first place. And the third requirement is peak downs. Peak downs are purposely designed cracks in the floor that allow you to shoot at people on the ground floor, but ideally you won't fall through the cracks. They have become meta when it comes to defending against online raids. The inspiration to this design and how to meet those requirements came up during a series of build sessions with Russ Daddy, where we brainstormed alternative angles to building multi-TC bases. He had some pretty nifty new concepts up his sleeve that I hope he will show you in the not so far future. As a starter unit, which later serves as the core, I used a honeycomb 1x3. This allows to build something close to the Phoenix base as a core. The outer squares become the main loot rooms, the central square has the workbench and the chute, which can be sealed with a roof stability bunker for extra offline raid protection. To make the wall stacking as simple as possible, we simply build two rings of foundations around the core, destroy the inner ring, and build the outer defense layer on top of the outer ring. By leaving those gaps at the end, we split the ring into two independent units, which helps to keep the upkeep tax low. The gaps can be closed off by two squares. The best way to place those, unfortunately, is to use the standard wall stacking method of going out eight squares and coming back with four half moons. The upside is, if it does not work the first time, you can always repeat those steps. I'm also pretty sure that it is possible to find a way to reliably place them freehand. The outer ring can now be used for a fantastic series of peak downs. Each floor tile is connected to the inner wall, which means that it will remain intact if the outer wall is rocketed open. They are stabilized as much as possible by those wall frames, so that they are more likely to remain intact even if the inner wall breaks. Since we did not offset the foundations of the two outer rings, however, we cannot place floor tiles that connect the outer ring with the core of the base. But that's not a bug, it's a feature. It allows us to place a second ring of incredibly sneaky peak downs, meaning that if your outer line of defense fell, there is a second line waiting to take on those pesky raiders. And from those peaks at the end of the base, we can see almost the whole inner corridor. And that's it for the main concepts of the base. The rest of the video will be me speed building the base to music. The combined upkeep will end up around 6 to 8k metal fragments and 80 to 100 high qual. I won't show you how to place any items. Instead, I'd encourage you to take this concept to a build server and figure out your own preferred interior design. Enjoy the build!